Shaka. I'm doing a wedding today with grandchildren. We thought we will have a grand story day. So I've invited three of my friends who all have got grandchildren, they have brought their grandchildren, and some other children have come. So we are in this bed where we are telling each other stories, and it's a very magic bed like any bed that your mom and dad has got. This one has got these colored feathers, which means it's magic. And in Vishakha's bed, they can draw on the bed sheets, yeah. on bedding. So that's what we are doing. We've got a lovely face from Diane. No, do you want to take, somebody to take a picture of this one for the newspaper? Move, 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 move. So we have got some aliens here. And who is there? Goldilocks. Goldilocks. Because Daya and Jack has brought three bears and their bowl of porridge. So we had the Goldilocks story. And look at that beautiful Goldilocks there. Oh, with such lovely golden locks. Yeah, yeah. Uh, today, what we're doing is building a better world with Lego. And we're inviting people to join us and reminisce about days of Lego and what they would have in a better world. I think my favorite suggestion was a chippy. Yes, they we were... made some chips. Yeah. Just behind you there. Some delicious chips. Somebody suggested um, that, that they'd run out of ideas, so we made a thinking cap. Um, the end of the world, yeah. Armageddon. So I think they wanted a better world to be or, a fresh start. Or a world without um, capitalism was a strong one. So that's sort of the empty space that's just sort of happening in the ether, <laughs> in between the Lego. I mean, um, predominantly it was to do with very, very natural things. I broke, I broke things down in my mind. I, I remembered to try and build things which were natural, things which were living things, and things which were manufactured. So I think music was a good idea. That was a really fantastic Yeah, one. I built some sheet music down there and sort of dream home and yes, the sort of things that I would have done as a child. Um, and I built a fireplace for warmth here. And Bumblebees. There's not enough bumblebees. Um, yeah, any things that we possibly would have built. We quite like the idea that uh, John and Yoko talked about um, approaching um, the age of peace like children mm -hmm. and being innocent and not taking themselves too seriously. So yeah. we hope we've done that as well. <laughs> The bedding represents uh, trying to find uh, non-violent action to make a better world. So we thought about what we could do in the bed and we like the idea of being in bed with world leaders. So really the workshop today we've created lots of different masks um, of the world leaders and we've got lots of different games going on, chess, Monopoly, Risk, um, the Game of Life, Go For Broke, Battleships, all games that we thought represented kind of uh, the economics of the world or war and really we're having a go at being the world leaders playing games because I think sometimes to the general population it seems like world leaders really do play a lot of games. Sometimes their actions are not understood by the population at large and we wondered whether actually if we uh, put on the role or the mask of a different world leader whether maybe our behaviour might be a little bit different. I'm not sure whether uh, Robert Mugabe likes to play fair for example. <laughs> <laughs>